Hey, welcome back. Today I wanted to follow up on a hand tracking video I made last week to demonstrate some other techniques. Uh, where we left off, we had attached a particle emitter to one of the hand landmarks. Uh, and that was a really cool effect. But let's, let's look at a couple of other effects we could try. Um, for example, switching over to this 3JS scene, we can attach a kind of refractive material on a sphere and use that in our scene as well to get kind of a, a water effect. Water coming out of both my fingertips. Um, I think that's pretty cool. In fact, why don't I try this? Instead of setting it only for the eighth, um, only for the eighth index, let's set it for every index. Like that. Isn't that kind of cool too? Um, let's increase the number of balls to 400. I think that's a lot cooler. And uh, it's kind of making the video choppy. There's so much processing happening. So definitely some optimization would be in order. Um, another effect to explore back to 2D is um, kind of this single line drawing effect. Um, and you get these cool artifacts when the tracking glitches, kind of like a EKG or something like that. And it sees both hands. So that's cool too. I wonder what would happen if we um, said that, do this for every point, like so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's really cool too. Um, let's see here if the point is greater than max points and max points is set to 100. Let's make max points 1000. Okay. <laughs> so that just happened. How cool is that? Create this kind of after image effect. I think that's really cool. And uh, the final experiment I wanted to play with was, was this one here with this paint stroke. Um, yeah, I know. I know it's using my camera. So that's sort of a cool effect, too. You can get that same kind of effect there. That's it. This is just a short video to talk about those um, three different variations. Um, yeah. Thanks. See you next time.